Hey, and welcome back to the channel. And I know that this video is a little bit late, but I really wanted to go back and use the Pixel 7 Pro again for this video. And me being a fan of Pixel phones over the last couple of years because of their cameras, I actually wanted to put Samsung's newest flagship, the S23 Ultra, against the Pixel 7 Pro and see which one I'd personally pick up. Now, I will focus more on its cameras rather than its overall design, its software features and performance, but obviously we'll go over those differences as well. But me being a camera camera nerd and as someone who now believes that the best camera that you have is the one in your pocket. I've actually shot a ton of photos and videos on both of these phones over the last couple of months, so I have a pretty good idea of which one I prefer, but also if you're still debating between which one you should pick up uh, between these two phones, hopefully this video will help you out. So just like in my reviews, I want to give you guys a basic spec overview of these phones. And I just want to emphasize here that not because one has a higher number than the other doesn't mean that it's better. Ultimately, it's how hardware and software works together. So the S23 Ultra in a nutshell features a 6.8 inch 120 hertz AMOLED display that can dip down to one hertz to save on battery life. And the display has a peak brightness of 1750 nits, which is pretty bright. It also packs a massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which can fast charge up to 45 watts wired or 15 watts wirelessly with reverse wireless charging at 4.5 watts. Now the S23 Ultra has a very special chip inside, which is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 4 Galaxy, which is a slightly overclocked version of the 8 Gen 2, and my unit comes with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, but you can also get one with 12 gigs of RAM and up to one terabyte of storage. Oh, and this also features an S Pen, which does come in handy for days when I had to sign contracts and whatnot, so it's really nice to have that. The Pixel 7 Pro, a slightly older phone now, features a 6.7 inch 120Hz AMOLED display that can also dip down to 1Hz to save on battery, and the display has a peak brightness of 1500 nits, which yes, a 200 nit difference, but in real world I couldn't really tell most days. Now just like the S23 Ultra, it also packs a 5000 milliamp hour battery inside, but charging is capped to 23 watts wired and wireless, but it also features reverse wireless share, but I'm not exactly sure at what wattage. Besides that though, the Pixel 7 Pro features the Google Tensor G2 processor, which is all about efficiency and having all the machine learning and AI chops versus going all in on power. Now my Pixel 7 Pro comes with eight gigs of RAM as well and 256 gigs of storage, but you can spec the 7 Pro up to 512 gigs of storage. In terms of overall design, I love how unique the Pixel 7 Pro looks with that camera bar, but there's something about the S23 Ultra this year that just feels more comfortable to hold than my Pixel 7 Pro. I also love I love the fact that I can have the phone stand up on its own, which I'm sure it's only a me thing, but yeah, the slightly less curved display on the S23 Ultra feels great, and having that flat top and bottom to make the phone stand on its own is really nice. Now, when it comes to software, the S23 Ultra is running Android 13, but with one UI 5.1 on top of it, while the Pixel 7 Pro, being a Google phone, just reigns plain old vanilla Android 13. This one, in my opinion, depends on what you prefer more. Uh, I've always loved how Pixel phones felt and how fast and quick it's always been over the years. And there's really not a whole lot of extra features that I need to know about the phone to use the phone at its full potential. One UI has gotten better over the years and I think it's the best it's ever been with 5.1. And I mean, I like it. There's just a lot more settings and customization or gimmicks that's tied with One UI and Samsung phones. So for me, it's a tie on software, but you might enjoy other features like the S Pen support and all the gestures that you can do with it, or you might enjoy their way of battery saving more than the pixels, but I'm not here to run down every single feature each phone has. I wanna make sure that this video is as easy as possible for you guys. Uh, and having used both phones again over the last few weeks, and when you use these phones day to day, you just want a phone that isn't buggy and one that'll run really quickly and one that'll last you for a while. And I know that the Pixel has been riddled with bugs after each update, but I personally haven't ran into anything worth noting. And the same goes for the S23 Ultra. Both have been running like champs and I don't really do anything heavy on these phones, just casual social media scrolling, responding to emails, messages, editing photos on Lightroom and occasionally play games on it, but nothing too crazy like editing 4K videos while running another app in split screen mode. Now, before we talk about my experience with battery life on these two phones, I just want to give a huge shout out to dbrand for graciously sponsoring a portion of this video and sending out their grip cases for the Pixel 7 Pro and the Galaxy S23 Ultra. More often than not, I'm always using a case on my phone and dbrand's always got my back with their grip cases. 
I think it's the best case that you can buy for the Pixel 7 series or the S23 series. It's lightweight, it's grippy, and really protects your phone really well. I've got my Damascus Warzone skin on my S23 Ultra, which matches my laptop, and the Pixel 7 Pro features the palette skin for more of that abstract, colorful touch on it. So if you guys wanna get an incredible case that will protect your device, one that looks good too, go to dbrain.com slash heymarkl or click the first link down below. So given that these phones pack a massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery, they're comparable, right? Nope, not even close. With the Pixel 7 Pro, I can average maybe six to six and a half hours of screen on time, which is still fairly good for a flagship, but the S23 Ultra, I can get eight hours of screen on time, especially if I have the phone in light mode, which is something I talked about in my full review, which if you haven't watched yet, I'll leave that link down below with the like button. Uh, so the S23 Ultra with that 5,000 milliamp hour battery is in a league of its own. Plus having a faster 45 watt charging really adds up, especially if you're always on a go and don't really have much time to charge in between commute or meetings. That 45 watt charging speed versus the 23 watt charging on the Pixel 7 Pro is a pretty big difference. All right, now let's talk cameras. The S23 Ultra packs a quad camera setup, a 200 megapixel main wide camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and two 10 megapixel telephoto cameras at 3X and a 10X periscope. The Pixel 7 Pro features a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel main wide camera, a 48 megapixel 5X telephoto camera, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. Now, photo quality are obviously subjective. What I like in terms of photos and how it's processed might be something you hate or vice versa. Maybe I like more moody looking shots while you prefer bright and saturated shots. Personally, from my experience, the Pixel have always shot the best photos on Android. It's the most consistent or most balanced compared to other phones that I've reviewed. Now, I think this is the year where we'll see even more advancement in photography in smartphones with new tech, better sensors and better AI algorithms. But these two phones are undeniably the best phones that can capture the best photos and videos. The S23 Ultra have made improvements in the photo department with slightly better color output and HDR processing, but I think the video mode is where the S23 Ultra really shines. So let me know in the comments below which shots from the samples you prefer. Do you prefer the S23 Ultra or the Pixel 7 Pro? Personally, I love the versatility of the S23 Ultra and its quad lenses. And as much as I love the more natural looking photos from the Pixel, I think out of the camera, the S23 Ultra looks to be more social ready, which means I don't really have to go into Lightroom and edit the photos before posting it. But I also love that I have a 10X zoom if I need that extra reach. And when it comes to videos, I think there's nothing that can beat the S23 Ultra here. From the stabilization to the colors, the clarity and how it's processing the videos, what Samsung did here is truly magic. The Pixel 7 Pro looks good too, don't get me wrong, but with the S23 Ultra, I feel more confident shooting better videos because of the stabilization, plus having pro video mode on the stock camera app that gives me manual control over the shutter speed, the ISO, and white balance makes the S23 Ultra more YouTube friendly in a way. But yeah, that's the S23 Ultra and the Pixel 7 Pro. Both are incredible phones, and whether you go with one or the other, I don't think that you'll be disappointed either ways. But probably the biggest factor to consider here is pricing. The S23 Ultra starts at $1199, while the Pixel 7 Pro starts at $899. The S23 Ultra at that price will give you 256 gigs of storage, while the Pixel 7 Pro will start at 128 gigs. Although at the time of making this video, you can pick up a Pixel 7 Pro for the same price of $899 that comes with 256 gigs of storage at Best Buy. But I guess you can also factor in what you need to do with your phone. If you're coming from an iPhone or you just love the simplicity of vanilla Android, the Pixel 7 Pro is the way to go. In my opinion, Pixel phones have always been the iPhones of Android, but if you're more of a power user and you see yourself using Samsung DeX or the S Pen, or you want all that power with the custom Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, then obviously you're gonna wanna go with the S23 Ultra. Personally, I'll pick the S23 Ultra over the Pixel 7 Pro, not because it's a much faster phone, but because I think the cameras as an entire package is better overall. I think having access to better video capabilities is what really won me over from the Pixel 7 Pro. But what about you guys? Which one would you pick up? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button as we are trying to get to 50K subscribers. And I think with your help, we can get there a lot quicker. 
Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.